What's up guys? Today, our weapon of choice is the Canon G7X Mark II. Today I'm going to show you guys how to get unique shots for your videos and vlogs. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you like this type of content. Before you start, make sure that your settings are set to 60 frames per second in 1080p. This will give you the flexibility to slow down your footage later on. And since we are shooting outside, I recommend turning on the built-in ND filter. For the first couple of shot ideas, we'll be using a monopod. You can get these for really really cheap at any Walmart, Best Buy or any local camera store. You don't need an expensive one either. I got mine from Walmart for about $20 and I've been using it for a few years now. It's sturdy and it does a job. Shot idea number one, really high angle shots. Twist your camera on the monopod, then extend the leg and raise it up high until you get the angle that you like. Try to keep it as steady as possible while you are moving. Get walking shots from the back, front or the sides. I know that it'll probably be hard to know if your subjects are in frame. You will have to shoot this a few times until you get a better idea of when they are in frame. To help you out a bit, just make sure that your screen is tilted down so that you can see what you are shooting. Also, since you are shooting in 60 frames per second, I suggest slowing down the footage afterwards so that you only need about a second or two of the clip. You could also get cool shots in between objects such as a tree. These are shots that you'll only be able to get with a monopod. Shot idea number 2, the 180 degree moving shot. Start by having your camera close to the ground at an angle. Then try to follow the movement of your subject as they are walking by. Keep the base of the monopod at the same spot though. Have them at least 3 to 5 meters away from the camera. Slow it down and add some speed ramping to add to the effect. Let me show you quickly how to do this in Final Cut. Highlight the whole clip and select Automatic Speed under the Retiming Options tab. This will automatically determine the ideal speed of your clip in slow motion. Then, highlight a good portion of the beginning part of the clip by pressing the R button on the keyboard. And then select the part that you want. Click on the Retiming Options tab again and change the speed to fast around 2 to 4 times. Shot idea number 3, the walking by shot. Tilt your camera up. This will usually look cool if you have a tree like this in the shot and a building in the background. Focus on the building in the background and walk forward slowly to show some movement in your clip. Or hold your camera flat down and have the lens face up. Flip the screen so you see what you are recording and slowly walk as you pass by objects above you. Shot idea number 4, the quarter circle movement. I like using this shot when I have a subject to focus on, but at the same time show some movement other than a regular left to right hand. Have your subject still, looking at something that's not the camera. Then do a quarter circle movement around your subject. Try to keep them in the same spot in the frame. Slow this down in pose and it should look golden. Shot idea number 5, the moving masking transition. I use this one a lot, usually with a gimbal though, but you can definitely do it without one. Start by extending your arms all the way down and have your screen flipped up so you can see your shot. Now with your feet planted, rotate your body around until you fully pass an object in frame. Make sure to keep going until it is totally out of the frame. Then in post, you can use this to transition to another clip. You can do so by selecting your moving clip, then add the draw mask tool, then place the key points right when it starts to show the other side of the clip. Check off invert mask, add some feathering, and add a keyframe to that as well. Place a keyframe under transforms and control points. Then go frame by frame by pressing the right arrow key and adjust the masking as you go along. Once you are done that, find another clip that you want to transition to and add it below that clip. To enhance your videos even more, make sure to color grade or add a LUT to your footage. I'll put a link in the description below to the LUT that I used to edit the G7X clips in this video.